Welcome back to Wilding with Marcus, man. It's a pleasure to have you. You already know what it is, man. I got some new content for you. So, um, I've been real impressed with um, Gabriel Iglesias here lately, man. And um, I found some other clip that I haven't looked at myself. You know how I do, man. I wait till I see y'all so I can share with y'all so we can get the same reaction at the same time. Some of y'all might have seen this before. I haven't, though. But um, hopefully it's an entertaining piece. It usually is. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Oh boy, Gabriel. This guy is hilarious, man. <laughs> oh, my God. This is too crazy, you guys. Thank you so much. And, and it's funny because, you know what? There's a lot of people in this casino upset. I heard one guy going, it's about damn time tater salad and taco salad work together. <laughs> a little racism going on here, yeah. So this is crazy. It's the first time I wear all black. I asked the staff to go get me a Hawaiian shirt, and they went to a Hawaiian store to get me a black shirt, which is nice. <laughs> they, say, they say black makes you look thin unless you're standing in front of a very colorful cactus. <laughs> really? A cactus? Ron, a cactus? Was that cactus there the whole time? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, give the Mexican a cactus. Oh, <laughs> this casino it's on this damn stage that's what it is this is cool you guys uh you know being here in vegas it, it's uh it's nice when i got invited to be here to support the troops it's nice because you know what i've done shows overseas and those are crazy shows you know it's nothing like having somebody warn you go if you hear a sound just get on the ground don't worry i'm like no i'm gonna worry <laughs> you did you know, right. over i did a, a show in afghanistan and we flew over there on a c-17 jet which for those of you that don't know is like twice the size of southwest <laughs> yeah, and they don't land like Southwest. Southwest, you know, now landing. C-17 goes from here to here like that. Because people shoot at the planes, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and they don't warn you about that one. They don't tell you, oh, by the way, you're going to lose your ass in about four seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that plane fell out of the sky. I was for five seconds. No lie. <laughs> 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 but yes, now we're here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The last time I got to do a show here was Fight Weekend. Fight Weekend, you remember the last fight where it was uh, Mayweather versus Canelo Alvarez, also known as... Uh, yeah, I know, the, the fight wasn't what we thought it would be. <laughs> kind of like the cactus. So, uh... <laughs> impressive thing about that fight was probably the interviews. The interviews All right, so I see we got a really copy from Tony Like for me, I see we got a, a Disney copy right here. I guess that's why they bleeping out a lot of it. But um, you know, use your imagination, man. You can fill in what my boy Gabriel is trying to say. All right, let's get back into it. If you're gonna interview a Mexican fighter, just let the fighter do the interview in Spanish in his native tongue. Don't make him speak English because in <laughs> Spanish, he, Canelo sounded like a killer. You know, the guys on ESPN in Spanish, you know, Soy Bernardo Osuna, aquí con ESPN Deportes. Aquí estoy con Canelo Álvarez, que va a pelear contra Floyd Money Mayweather esta semana en Las Vegas, Nevada, en Pay Per View. Canelo, ¿qué vas a hacer contra Floyd Money Mayweather? ¿Qué vas a hacer? And then he came out all killer. Pero mira, voy a ser así, voy a ser así, se va a morir y sas. In translation, he's gonna die. <laughs> it sounded like a good interview, but then they put his ass in English, and the whole fight is different. Uh, this is Phil Stevens here live for ESPN Sports. Uh, we have uh, here with me today Canelo Alvarez is going to face Floyd Money Mayweather this weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand on pay-per-view. Canelo, what's your strategy against Floyd Money Mayweather? And then he talks and he kills it, right? Uh... <laughs> well, I am going to a hit him like this. And then I'm going to a hit him like this. That's up. And then he gonna hit, he gonna hit. ¿Cómo se dice piso? <laughs> what do you call this shit? Stantan like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing good, I know. He's sucking it in. He's sucking it in. 
Uh, my boy so Fluffy. I'm very excited that Ron asked me to do this, and uh, it, it's actually a chance for me to do a cheap plug. Um, I, <laughs> I got a chance to do a movie last year for uh, Disney called Planes, which was the first time I was able. Yeah. I saw that. Right there. <laughs> it was the first time that I was Disney able movie. to actually promote a movie I was part of because the last movie I did I couldn't promote to families. You know, I, I was in the movie Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't see that shit. I wouldn't know. Which, for those of you that don't know, is a male stripper movie. You know, I can't tell kids, hey, go tell your parents to take you to see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> some of you are laughing. Some of you are like, it's like Tragic Mike. It's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys about doing work for Disney. Once you work for Disney and you do voice animation for them, all of a sudden people start calling you. It's like being in a relationship, yeah, okay? Sure. When you're single, no one wants you. But then you hook up with a good one. All of a sudden, everyone's calling. And <laughs> Disney made it very clear. Gabriel, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Disney is going to take really good care of you. <laughs> really, really good care of you. All of a sudden, I got a phone call from Nickelodeon. And Nickelodeon was like, <laughs> we'll do things Disney won't. <laughs> 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 so I show up at Nickelodeon Studios, right? And this girl comes out and she's like, Listen, this is the gist of the story, okay? We're such huge fans of yours. You're so funny. We just want you to know what's going on. This is a story about a little toy car, okay? This little toy car has its own special personality. He also has four friends that are also toy cars, okay? There's the happy car. There's sad car. There's a crazy car. <laughs> and one of these little toy cars, we need to be a this little This fucking guy is too different. much, man. <laughs> and in Hollywood, when they say different, they uh, mean yeah. Mexican. That's what they mean. Oh, wow. <laughs> <That's laughs> but they man. never tell you that. They just give you a series of suggestive words <laughs> like, to let you know the different. type of direction they want you to go in. <laughs> so she walks me I to a sound booth. Okay. I get in front of a microphone, and then they close the door. She goes behind a glass and she starts talking to me through a PA system and she's like, <laughs> Okay, if you could just read the top line, okay? We're gonna figure out this character. Just read the top line and we'll take it from there, okay? Whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> so the line is, Hey guys, I'm glad we're all here. So I'm like, Okay, here we go. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm glad we're all here. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> really, really good. If you could do me a favor and put a little spice yeah. on that, that would be super. <laughs> and when I heard spice, I knew exactly what she meant. I'm like, great, they want me to play this like a gardener. <laughs> that's I'm frustrated, I'm mad, I'm like, what am I doing here? I should be over at Disney, but no, there I am, little horror, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, fine. So I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Hey, I can't believe that we are all here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you sound really unenthusiastic. If you could just do me a favor and give it more energy and more spice, that would be super. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah. He's like, don't say this shit no more. Hey, guys, I can't believe that we are all here. <laughs> okay, we know that you do sound effects and character voices in your comedy. Can you do a sound effect for a little toy car? I'm like, a toy car. I got this. <clears throat> <laughs> Can you put spice on that? <laughs> they want me to put an accent <laughs> on a sound effect. I was like, I don't know. <clears throat> the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As I'm taking off the headphone, she looks at me. She goes, "Perfect." Yeah. <laughs> like, this shit ain't right. The tune comes out June 17th, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, boy Gabriel is a fool, man. But look, man, I believe him on that story, man. Nick Lowe, y'all need to tighten up. <laughs> it shouldn't be stereotyping. But anyway, yo. I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did, man. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, man, so we can keep up with each other. 
And as always, man, it's a pleasure to have y'all. Thanks for wilding with Marcus. You know what I'm saying? Kicking it with me for a little bit. Until next time. Boop. You know what it is, y'all. Laters. <laughs>